Hi guys, it's Miss Amy. I understand that my Facebook Live got interrupted by a certain centipede who shall remain nameless. Hmm. So I thought that instead of reading to you live today, I would try to record a video and see if that works better. So here I am and I'm going to read Little Monster at Home and we talked about Mercer Mayer in our class for over a week. We love the little critter stories. But did you know that Mercer Mayer also wrote the Little Monster stories? So this is Little Monster at Home. Because as, I, as I've heard, everyone's spending a lot of time at home. And I don't know about you, but I'm kind of getting bored at home doing a whole lot of nothing. But I do like to read. So here is Little Monster at Home by Mercer Mayer. This is my house where I live with mom and pop. First there is my sister and then there is my baby brother and then this is me and last there is the baby who can't talk yet. See, There he is. There's his whole family. There's their house. And there he is with his dog. And there's the baby. I guess he's a monster dog. I don't know if I missed a page, but they're just close together. Here we go. In the very bottom of my house is the cellar. It's full of machines that make hot water and heat. Ooh. Is your cellar kind of scary? Mine's a little smelly. Actually, a little damp right now. Hmm. And in the very top of my house is the attic. It's full of great things that nobody uses anymore. But we keep it, just in case. Oh, look at all the stuff he has in his attic. It's a good place to store things, huh? It's a bird cage and a mirror. Ooh, all kinds of old things. Do you like to keep things in your attic? Attic's a cool place. My house is full of rooms. The kitchen is for cooking and snacks. I'm very neat and clean, sometimes. And in the pantry are all sorts of cans and boxes and jars of food. My mom makes the best apple jelly. Do you keep things in jars at your house? It's good to use jars again and again because they're made of glass. What do we know about glass? You can recycle glass over and over and over again. Glass is terrific, and it's very easy to clean, too. But glass is also for grown-ups, so make sure your grown-ups are washing the glasses at your house. It's better than plastic. There are a lot of chemicals in glass. The living room is where we do things together. Pop reads his favorite book, and Mom practices the violin. I bet I have the only mom in town who practices the violin. Sometimes my sister and I play checkers. She usually wins. My pet Kerploppus sleeps on the couch, even though he's not supposed to. Oh. I guess in Monster World they call his pet a Kerploppus rather than a dog. Look, there he is. There's, there's his, uh, he's playing checkers. Yeah. There's the baby playing with her toys on the floor there. There's dad reading a book. Do, do your parents read a lot at your house? It's good to read. Reading's good for your brain. Makes you smart. When I have friends over, we go to the playroom. That way mom isn't always telling us to be quiet. We watch TV and play games. The playroom is mainly for noise, and if you don't like noise, you better stay with mom and pop. They don't like noise either. You like to make noise? I do. The sun is shining here today. You should go outside and play if the sun is shining at your house. You can go out in your yard and play. Yeah. They can make lots of noise. Hmm. Nobody cares. We have a workshop in the garage. Papa's making a little croony house. I'm painting a stool for my mom. Oh, look at that. Dad's got the, the car he's working on. I see a lawnmower there. Hmm, the grass is going to be growing soon. It is springtime coming. Might be time to cut the grass. And he's painting a stool for his mom. That's a nice present. It's fun to do arts and crafts since we're not in school right now, huh? 
The laundry room is where my clothes go when they get dirty. And the bathroom is where I go when I get dirty. Hmm. Look, there we go. He's getting a bath. Oh, man. Raise your hand if you like bath time. I do. Bubble bath. Yep. Mom's doing the laundry. Yep. Got to wash lots of laundry during this time, huh? Everybody's got to be nice and clean. Mm. No stinky monsters. This is my room. It's full of all my very own stuff. No one is allowed in here except Mom and Pop and my pet Kerplopus and my best friend. Not even my sister. But sometimes I lend her my baseball bat. Ooh. Like there's a sister. What's she doing? Is she getting a, a baseball bat to borrow? I think so. Look. Ah, he's got a Batman poster. A Bat Monster poster. Do you like Batman at your house? There, there's her musical instrument down there. There's a robot toy and a chest. Lots of toys in there. There's a kite. Oh boy. Look, he's got a hat for dressing up time. That's fun. Oh, and a scooter. Ooh. It's a good day for a scooter. Go outside and go on your scooter. In the spring, at my house, we take down the storm windows and put up screens to keep out the bugs. We plant our vegetable garden and we beat the rugs and everyone helps except Microplopus. He just gets in the way. We throw away the old stuff we don't want anymore. I always find lots of things I want to save, but Mom won't let me. Hmm. Yep, time for a garage sale. This is a good time to clean out your houses in the springtime. Get rid of all the toys you don't want anymore. Maybe get rid of some of the toys you do still want. That's always a fun fight with mom and dad. Hmm. <laughs> in the summer, we work in the yard. Pop prunes the apple tree. Mom cuts the grass. My sister trims the hedges, and I weed the garden. In the fall, we pick apples for Mom's apple jelly. We get a pumpkin from the garden for a jack-o'-lantern. Pop works on the house, and Mom rakes the leaves. I jump into the piles. <laughs> this is a really fun picture. Look at this picture. So on this side, it looks like fall, but on this side, it looks like summer. Look at the same tree. What a good artist Mercer Mayer is. Look, she's got her hedge trimmers there, and he's helping with the weeds in the garden. Dad's mowing the grass. Oh boy, someone's up in the tree with a saw. Hmm, I hope he asked his mom first. And there's a big pumpkin with something popping out of it. That's what it looks like in the fall. Look, they've got their jackets on. Can you tell what the season is by what the character is wearing in the picture? Hmm. If it's winter time, they should be wearing coats and things, right? And if it's fall, they're wearing their sweaters. And over on this side, they're wearing summer clothes. Clothes for being outside. It's a good way to tell what the setting is in the story. It's what the characters are wearing. You tell what season it is. Or what the weather's like. Ah, see, look. Now they're all wearing winter clothes. So this scene must be about winter. Let's see. In the winter, oh, oh right. It's too cold to stay outside for long, but at Christmas time, Grandma and Grandpa come and we all go out and cut down a Christmas tree. Woo! That's a good time to do it. When your grandparents are there. Yeah, look at that. They got a sled. Oh, boy. What's he doing? Oh, he's running down the hill. He's so excited. Look at that. Oh, how pretty the town is, all covered in snow. Oh, wow. I love it. We're going to cut down a tree. Do you miss your grandparents right now? I miss my grandparents right now, too. We can't visit our grandparents right now. Yeah, we got to be careful. I like my house best in the wintertime because when we get inside, it's so very snuggly and warm. Look at that. They're in there reading their books and staying warm with the icicles. Icicles falling off the ceiling and falling into the snow. What's this down here? I don't know. And look at their town. Look at their little town. It's a whole map of a town. Look at that. Do you think your town looks like that from an airplane view? Probably. Hmm. So that was called Mercer Mayer's Little Monster at Home. 
So if you're feeling bored at home, get out a book. Read a book. Moms and dads know how to stretch out books really long so they can spend some quality time reading a book. Mm. And you get to practice reading. That's the best part. You can practice your sight words. You could find your sight words in the book. Or you could find a letter and find words in there that start with that letter. Or maybe you could count things. Oh, that would be good. Or maybe you could talk about colors in the book. Or seasons in the book. All kinds of things you can do. Maybe you got inspired to make some crafts. I think I want to go make some crafts after reading this book. Don't you? Well, friends, I'll see you later. Have a good day. And get outside and enjoy the sunshine if you have some sunshine where you live. Because it's not been fun sitting inside. Lots of rain and yuck and, and you get bored being indoors. So go out and enjoy the sunshine. Play out in your yard. Bye, friends. I'll see you later.